Good day everyone, so welcome to our discussion for today, which is the evolution of programming languages. So the big question is, why are there so many programming languages? So you probably asked this question when you first began learning to code. It's perplexing to see so many programming languages, as if they are deliberately designed to confuse newcomers. Many working professional programmers will give you opposing opinions such as Java is dead, real programmer code in C++, Ruby is a toy language, or you are stupid if you don't code in Python. So according to the article written by Paul Graham, programming languages are not merely seen as tools. They also have an impact on how programmers think about their code. Naturally, more programmers have strong opinions about which programming language to use, and unsurprisingly, they prefer the one they use every day. So here is the timeline of programming languages. As a programming mentor, I am responsible for providing daily answers to this question to my students, preferably in a clear and concise manner. It astounds me that no good existing in programmatic explains how programming languages evolved to become what they are now. Therefore, I decided that it is a brilliant idea to create one by ourselves. Because attempting to include every programming language ever invented would result in a complete shambles, this infographic is intended to be as simple as beginner-friendly as possible. If your favorite programming language is not represented in this image, it is most likely due to space constraints rather than its importance. It is difficult to create such an infographic because programming languages are not isolated. So each programming languages influence other languages, which in turn influence others. So let's start our journey. 1950s, which is the dawn of programming languages. So in 1950s was the dawn of programming languages. Before this decade, people programmed in machine code instead. In 1957, the first programming language, Fortran, which is short for formula translation, was created to facilitate numerical calculations and scientific computing. Fortran is still used to program numerical computation nowadays. COBOL is a business-oriented programming language created in 1959 to solve common business application challenges. Cobol strength lies in writing and updating ledgers and table records. Lisp was created in 1958 by American computer scientist John McCarthy as a mathematical notation for lambda calculus. It was later widely adopted for research of artificial intelligence. Both Fortran, Lisp, and Cobol can be regarded as one of the first programming languages created, and they serve distinctively different purposes. Fortran, designed for scientific computing and numerical calculations. COBOL, designed for business application development. And LIST, designed for artificial intelligence research. In 1960s, which is the structural programming and ease of learning. So in the next decade, we saw the next wave of programming languages. The most iconic one here is the Algol language family. Algol is a typical design by committee language, as it was designed by committees of American and European computer scientists. The second language of Algol family, which is the Algol 60, which was created in 1960 as the name suggested, was proven to be one of the most influential languages of its era, since it paved the foundation of future programming languages. Development. Most modern programming languages, C, C++, Java, Python, JavaScript, drone ideas from Algol 60. Algol language family decisions in later name as a structural programming, which is a paradigm aiming to improve the read readability and clarity of programming. It pioneered multiple concepts which profoundly influenced the later comers. The, ex the, ex the extensive use of control structure including both selection, if else, switch, and repetition, while for loop, abandonment of Goto keyword. Goto was later widely regarded as an anti-pattern in programming as a result. Lexical block structure that groups related lines of source code together 
and subroutines to pack related source code as a unit. Another programming language developed in this era is the BASIC. What's another influential programming language created in this decade? Contrary to ALGOL, which was created by a group of computer scientists, BASIC was created by only two people, John Kemeny and Thomas Kurtz. They pioneered the use of computer in college educations, since their aim was to create something that is easy to learn for non-mathematics and non-science students. Basics, BASIC was designed with ease of learning in mind, making it a comparatively easy language to learn in that era. 1970s, the classical period of programming language. I refer to the 1970s as the classical period because multiple languages created in this decade truly stood the test of time. The most notable example are C and SQL. C was, was designed by Dennis Ritchie to be the language of the then newly created Unix operating system. Both C and Unix were on the become incredib incredibly important creations in computer sciences. C is still widely used as a programming language in development of operating system kernel and embedded system. Its simplistic design gives programmers the ultimate control on the hardware that they are working on. Both Windows NT kernel, Mac Darwin kernel, and Linux kernel use C as their principal programming language. C family languages includes most commonly used languages ranging from C++, Objective-C, Java, and JavaScript, with Python being a rare exception. While SQL is another language that enjoy an uncontested longevity since its inception, it was created by IBM's computer scientists Ray Raymond Boyce and Donald Chamberlain as a domain-specific language for managing data and relational databases. Since relational database is still an integral part of modern full-stack development, SQL is still immensely popular over 40 years. Pascal seems to be the foreshadow of C language family nowadays. It's actually the primary programming language in college-level programming languages in the 1980s, which was later replaced by C and C++. Among the aforementioned languages, small talk is niche by comparison. However, it brought valuable innovations to the programming communities, notably the concept of programming lang graphical programming interface and the paradigm of object-oriented programming. Smalltalk's small author, Alan Kay, is widely regarded as one of the fathers of object-oriented programming. It revived the dynamic typing from list, which acted as the aspiration for modern dynamic languages as well. Nineteen eighties, Cis descendants, era of object oriented programming languages. The concept of object oriented programming was becoming mainstream among the programming community in nineteen eighties. However, the most popular programming language C back then was a procedural language. There were many attempts to make C object oriented. C and Objective C were the only two remain. C added objected object-oriented programming to the performance C language, arguably improving its maintainability for a large code base. It went on to become a solid candidate for system programming and development for application with critical performance requirements. It is also one of the few programming languages that essentially support all different paradigms of programming, be it procedural, functional, object-oriented, and generic programming. As of time of writing, C++23 is the next upcoming standard. Another programming developed in this era is Objective-C, found its niche in Mac OS. It was the primary development language for application on Mac OS. Since iOS was released in 2007, it was primary language to develop iOS apps. The language Swift was released in 2014 as a replacement. Perl was an interesting exception in that era, when it was consensus that C++ or C were needed to do any serious programming. Perl was regarded as a scripting language instead. Perl was special because it is a dynamic typing interpreted language. 
making it one of the first general purpose scripting language to be adopted by the programming communities. It was thus widely used in system administration due to its flexibility. nineteen nineties, the golden age of programming languages. In the nineteen nineties we saw a new batch of programming languages being created. This era languages still dominate the ranking of most popular programming languages nowadays. The big three of programming languages, Java, JavaScript and Python, all came from this decade. Python was created in nineteen ninety as intuitive beginner friendly language. It was famed the runnable pseudo code with its super breathability. It went on to gain adoption in the scientific computing communities, which made Python the best scientific programming language with all the data science library, like NumPy, Pandas, and TensorFlow. Java was developed by James Gosling at Sans Microsystem in 1995. It was designed with cross-platform capabilities in mind. So the cross-platform promise gave Java advantages over its predecessors C++ and C, which requires individual compilation for each platform. Java strongly encourages object-oriented programming styles, which means that Java creators choose not to implement many features C++ already offered for the sake of clarity and readability. JavaScript was created in the same year as Java. It was originally intended to be the scripting language to be used by the Netscape Navigator. Its author, Brendan Fitch, created JavaScript in only 10 days. JavaScript object system is interestingly prototype-based instead of class-based. The language had undergone drastic changes as JavaScript was becoming more, main, more and more mainstream. Server-side JavaScript runtime node.js was released in 2009 which enabled the possibility of full-stack JavaScript development. So PHP powers 80% of the website in the world. It was created in 1995 as server-side text processor. It is ubiquitous thanks to WordPress, which is the most popular content management system in the world. Ruby was created by a Japanese programmer named Yukihiro Matsumoto. Its author took many inspiration from Python and he tried to create a genuine object-oriented languages. Ruby was widely adopted because of the popularity of the framework Ruby on Rails which pioneered the philosophy of convention over configuration. Two thousands Web 2.0 Languages Concurrent Languages in the 2000s, he, here came the age of web applications. Web applications like Gmail, YouTube, and Facebook were getting more and more powerful. The programming languages created in this decade had a strong emphasis on the capability of handling concurrent programming. Concurrency had been around for ages, but the wave of Web 2.0 applications made it straight more important than ever. Scala was created with the premise of creating a better Java with advanced type inference and concurrent support. Type inference reduces the boilerplate of writing static languages. It would be a game changer since Java was constantly crit criticized by being bloated. The concept of type inference is so important that it affects most of the programming languages in the decade to come. C-Sharp was also created by Microsoft as a Java alternative. It borrowed ideas from both Java and C++ and tried to create a language with the best of both worlds. It was the most popular language for Microsoft.NET platform. It powered the development of most Microsoft Windows desktop applications and Windows Server-based web applications. The game engine Unity also made use of C-Sharp as their primary scripting language. Despite Java popularity in the previous decade, Go, surprisingly, was not trying to be a Java replacement. It was created by Google as a system programming language, just like C++. It was designed with simplicity and clarity, making the compilation time of Go program 
much shorter than that of C++. Go also introduced the concept of communicating sequential processes as its concurrent execution model. At the same time, the dynamic programming languages was gaining a lot of traction in this decade. Ruby became a serious candidate for web development with its framework Ruby on Rails. Python's Django and PHP's numerous frameworks were used as well. Although the languages mentioned in the infographic were mostly static languages, it is reasonable to call the de these decades the age of dynamic programming languages. 2010s, static typing making a comeback, type inference languages. 2010 languages were characterized by the comeback of languages with static typing. All four languages mentioned in the infographic, TypeScript, Rust, Dart, and Swift supported type inference out of the box. Rust introduced the ownership system, which enables automatic memory management without garbage collection. It is a major breakthrough in memory management technique since garbage, co since garbage collection. It also borrowed functional programming concepts like pattern matching and immutable data. Rust thus became a contender to C++ for system programming and real-time software development. Another innovation in this era is TypeScript, was designed by Microsoft in 2012 to bring static typing and type inference to JavaScript. TypeScript authors Anders Hulsberg plays a major role in developing C Sharp, Del P, and Object Pascal. TypeScript was designed to be a strict superset of JavaScript, which means that any JavaScript code is fully compatible developing fully compatible with TypeScript. It was an important characteristic because it enables developers to adapt TypeScript gradually in their existing JavaScript application. Dart was initially designed by Google as a drop-in replacement for JavaScript development in browser in 2012. The adoption had been low since there are many other contenders in the same era such as TypeScript. The language got a second life when Google announced that Plotter, which is a cross-platform mobile application development framework in 2016, used Dart as its development language. Swift was created by Apple as replacement of decades old Objective-C. Unlike Objective-C, it followed a lot of design decisions rooted from the C language family. Nowadays, Swift is the primary language of development for Mac OS and iOS. So here are some programming languages that would be like to include but we have not included in the end. So Kotlin, a JVM language designed by JetBrains, it was adopted by Google as the primary language of Android operating system in 2019, further boosting its popularity. Visual Basic, Visual Basic was created by Microsoft that is known for its component object model. It was specialized for GUI software development for Microsoft Windows. It was also widely used in Microsoft Office in the form of Visual Basic for applications. Solid Solidity. Solidity was created in 2014 for implementing smart contract. What, what's next? One interesting example in, is quantum programming or quantum programming language. They are created to write program for quantum computer instead of traditional transistor-based computer. Okay class, that is the end of our discussion. So for the next meeting topic, study, syntax, and semantics. So see you, God bless, and bye everyone.